OBW. OBW is where it uh, used to be the WB developmental. That's where like, John Cena, Batista, Randy Orton, all those guys came out. So in uh, 05, they had like a tryout, and I went down to uh, Kentucky. Uh, me and uh, Karis Knight, who used to be, uh, who was one of the girls I also trained, uh, she was Cherry. She was a uh, manager for Lisa Domino. So me and her, we went down there and did a tryout. We got accepted and brought you back. And I spent three years there in the OPW when it was WWE developmental. We stayed there from 05 to 08. And then in 08, WWE, after like a 12 year relationship, maybe 10, 12 year relationship with OPW, they severed ties and they went to Florida and started what was uh, FCW, which later on became NXT and what you see today. So since I wasn't on the contract and I didn't go to Florida, I decided, well, no, no, no need to stay in Kentucky. Let me go back to the Northeast, New Jersey, where I'm from, and continue to just, you know, wrestle, travel, and do the, the circuit, you know, do whatever I can with WWE, with Nirvana, team, whatever I can get my hands. There you go, Zach. Good job, Tim. Keep it going, brother. Good job, Phil. Simon. Good job, Corey. Keep it going, brother. Good. Get those knees up, bro. Swing.
about how he's not competition, he can't beat you. You gotta put over how, how awesome he is. There's a reason he's wrestling, because he went up the ranks and defeated everybody in front of him. And you know he's good. In fact, he's probably the best. The difference is, he's never stepped in the room. You, you want, so you put the guy over. Don't bury him. Don't say, oh, you suck, you're a good guy. You want to put the guy over. However, when he steps in the room with you for the very first time, he's going to come across on you. You know what I mean? So that way you have a reason. It's saying. Come on, get him, get him, get him! One, two, three! Oh, get him! Get him! That was good. I mean, you know, execution was a little off on some things, but that doesn't matter. It's, that's the easy part. You guys just like cut it. That was good. Right. And intensity. Now, if you just, like I said, with more training and more repetition, that was. Remember, the wrestling doesn't have to always turn. That was really solid. A lot of fire. We all had such a few. You were a piece of shit. That was really good. Nice little baby face coming back. Really easy, easy story. <laughs> we were able to follow the story, you know what I mean? I liked it. That was a very good story. Especially when you guys got muscle, don't be afraid to snap me to grab a hold. Because especially before you're going to go to the big big face comeback, what you want to do is you want to slow them down. If you're going 100 miles an hour, you know, during the heat as well, then it's going to be hard for them to be there. Plus, it forces him to no sell everything and start his comeback. You know what I mean? So once you change that heat and you're getting on him, getting on him, like when you know you're about time, you get into time cues and you're getting ready for the comeback. You want to slow down and work to the comeback. You want to make him fight up so he has to earn that comeback. And then once you start that comeback, you want to explode. You have good big face fire. And also, don't forget, don't, uh, because I know, I guess you guys put some stuff together, but towards the end, you guys were a little out of whack because he was over there and you ran to him. Like, but that's another reason why you want to slow down because if you're going too fast, you can't talk. If you slow down and grab a hole, you can grab a hole. Like, there you go. You have to For the reason you did that, you felt the momentum knock. Remember, you want to like after yeah. the big hips, after the big body slam, pull on, you can hit the rope, go for something big, bang, then you get him hurt. That way, when you come back, you get him back and you actually connect with what you're missing in the opening shot, and that would be good to You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you felt like on the comeback, once you start doing the four season, started getting a little too much. Once you start that go home, you got that 90 seconds of that minute, you want maybe one or two four seasons, that would have been good enough. Because you guys start doing a little too much, and then you felt like you felt the rhythm that you <laughs> begin to get it back up. That was it. Just like that, that was pretty good. Okay. I'm fine. You always fine. That was good. You okay? Yeah. You good? Who's next? We have. Yeah. No. No. You should have yelled at him. He should have been backing up. You you already control. Right. If you if you want to fire up or get a whole spot like him of that sort, let him come up on. Hey, you know what I mean? Right. Hey. Yeah. I have to hold him. I have to hold him back. I'm not gonna just pick him up and shoot him off. I'm already in control. So if he's gonna find out, then he would eventually back me up and then he's Or if he's gonna escape, he could work his way up and like, go really slow so he can be up and all you already have the hold. You are already in control. You're not gonna let it go to shoot him off. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Like yeah. you would let like him. Yeah, you actually didn't touch it on this side. Well, this side I did. Boom, boom. He was working your arm. So if he's
Another Damien Adams seminar in the books. Now, time to eat.